Alrighty guys, so you guys love that Aquino rebuild. If you guys missed it, it's up here in the top right hand corner. But today we're gonna be doing the Bo Bichette career sim, aka Flo Bichette. And I think he's at what 15 games where he's hit an extra base hit. I think it's like 15 in a row or something like that. That's crazy to think about how he just hopped into the league and took it by storm. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button down below. If you guys can hit a thousand likes, I know crazy number a thousand likes as you guys can see i have a little thumbnail made for a new blue jays rebuild we got bichette we got biggio vlad jr lord is guriel the whole new squad will do a new rebuild for them tomorrow so if you guys want to see that hit that like button subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section below let me know what you would like to see next other than that guys if you guys need tickets for any sort of event at all go to SeatGeek, use the code antortiz and get 20 dollars off your purchase all right I think that's it let's get into this Bo Bichette career sim alrighty so if you don't know the rules which I think you guys would know them by now all we do is we let the CPU handle every single thing here and we just make sure that for lineups we can the lineups is what we control basically so manual for that part and we're gonna let Bo Bichette be our starting shortstop I'm kind of excited to see how he develops and I'm actually kind of excited to see how he develops um, how this lineup develops with all these new young players but We'll be focusing on Bichette here, 21 years old, righty bat, righty arm, second and short, 72 overall with a potential. I mean, hitting stats, not too bad. I definitely kind of see where, why he's a 72 overall. You definitely don't want to overrate him um, just yet. But 50s, a little bit of 60s mixed in there. Good vision, good discipline. So I think that's really going to come into like his advantage. And then when you look at his fielding, arm strength, arm accuracy, etc., that's still a pretty good rating as well. So I can see his fielding stats are really helping his overall. But hitting wise, I think he's definitely a decent bat to have there. So I'm kind of excited to see how things go. I don't know about him in the leadoff spot, but you can also see he's kind of in the, the lower part of the lineup as well in certain lineups. So that's season one to start. Let's see how it pans out. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I hate that the Blue Jays do this every single franchise. Vlad Jr. is traded for Jose Barrios and Miguel Sano. It's nice to get a new third baseman in replace for Vlad and a good starting pitcher. But at the same time, I really wanted to see how Vlad would um, improve. All right, so season one, 65 and 97. Let's take a look because... Another player I was excited to see develop got traded in Kevin Biggio. But we're looking here at Bo Bichette. He's up to a 74. So he went up, what, three overall? Potential has gone down. Um, most likely because he hit 216 on the year. A um, little disappointing. Um, but you can see top coaching's hurting him a little bit. Performance, contract. So after this year, we'll definitely make sure all the coaches are taken care of. Making sure, Make sure we have some good coaches. No postseason. No awards or anything like that. But there's Bo Bichette's first season. Uh, 23 doubles. Not terrible at all. Played a lot of games. 3 triples. 11 home runs. 50 RBIs. 137 strikeouts. 216 average. I definitely expect this to be his worst season. I expect him to develop very, very quickly. Um, looking at his stats, I definitely expect him to be a lot better. So this was a rough first season. We'll take care of the coaches so that'll at least help his morale and his stats a little bit more. And we can hop into this next couple seasons, see how he develops. All right, so I was simming and we were approaching the trade deadline day. So a lot of times the Blue Jays just make crazy amount of trades. And as I saw it, um, Boba Shack got traded, which, uh, what? Huh? So they traded him to the Rays for Brendan McKay and Lucius Fox. The thing is, when we look at this Blue Jays lineup, there is nobody from like the original roster that I was like excited that I was excited to see. I mean, Brandon Drury, not really. Jonathan Davis, Teoscar Hernandez, Danny Jansen is pretty cool. But Richard, like what happened to this Blue Jays squad? I'm pretty sure they've changed the pitching rotation as well. I mean, what is going on with this squad? They've completely changed the lineup. So let's go take a look at the Rays now because that didn't last long. Um, he's going to play shortstop for the Rays. Obviously, they don't have Willie Adamas here, so that's that's one reason why they needed a shortstop. I don't think they even have Wander Franco in their farm system anymore. I think he was traded, unless he's still in single A. We'll take a quick look just to kind of see, but I was a little perplexed. Um, Wander Franco is not in their farm system, so I guess that kind of does help out. Willie Adamas is in triple A. What is going on with this squad? I, 
I don't understand why the Blue Jays traded him away. Anyways, um, maybe if I find out that he gets moved to like the bench or something, we'll trade back for him. But for now, we're going to let it play out, see how he does with the race. So I think I forgot to mention what season we're in. I'm pretty sure we're in season three for this trade that happened. Um, let's take a quick little look. He's not even starting anymore. He played pretty similar amount of games than what he usually does. 250, so I mean, it's, it is his best year in terms of average um, slugging, same OPS, but he isn't starting. So I think next season, I'm going to bring him back because if you look at our starting shortstop, we don't have one. So I think we're gonna bring him back next year um, if we can some somehow finagle a trade. All right, so we were able to finagle some sort of trade. Um, we'll, we'll get the lineup back. As you guys can see, Bo Bichette's back in the lineup. Um, we actually, we kind of did need a shortstop. So it, it did work out. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to, I'm going to lower the, the trade slider. Even though it's at the default trade slider setting. But I'm going to lower it a little bit just so that we don't get as many trades. I feel like I've had a trade every single week of every single season so far. And we're in season what? Heading into season four. So I want to lower the trades. I feel like it's getting a little bit out of hand with the CPU. So we're going to do that for this this sim. Heading into season five, you guys can see Bo Bichette is an absolute animal. Look at those stats. I mean, the hitting stats are still kind of coming along. Fielding wise, he is a gold glover. And actually, let me point that out. We'll take a look at awards for last year. Um, he did win a gold glove. Um, you guys can see that right there. He won a gold glove last year. But looking at his stats, he is unreal fielding wise. Vision and discipline are even creeping up a little bit more. And his hitting stats are getting better. So I would really like to see how that's going to play out. Obviously, we're heading into season five. He's added some triples to his tally. He's consistently hitting in the high 20s. Um, no, well, now the high 20s. For doubles home runs are starting to creep up into the teens rbis are improving walks are still kind of in the 50s low 60s so i'm kind of excited to see where he's gonna finish out his career i definitely think he's gonna be a high hits guy good average good on base percentage going forward he still is only 25 so i expect some really good stats here so actually it's working out because the blue jays made the postseason for the first time in how many years um actually not too many i've over exaggerated that but they made it as a wild card team. We're going to see how Bo Bichette did. Any awards for him? Not even a gold glove. Wow. Okay. League leaders. Nothing for him there either. So let's take a look. See where he's at. He's at a 93. Oh, man. He's at. He's almost capped out on fielding. Hitting stats did go up a little bit. The contact, not so much. A little bit here in power. A little bit lower in power, actually. But he did have 20 home runs. Again, in the mid-20s for doubles high amount of hits played almost every single game 79 rbis 72 walks a 267 average with a 336 on base percentage so this was his career year so far and at 93 overall it's kind of scary to think he, i mean really the only thing he's going to get better at is hitting so i mean i think this guy's going to be a complete package within the next two seasons so i'm really excited to see how that plays out for him um i didn't even talk about what his career totals are 65 home runs but like I said, I'm not really worried about his home run total. I'm expecting him to be a high hits guy. And through five years, he's almost at 750. So pretty good so far. I mean, he might he might be a, a, a 3,000 hit guy. Um, maybe. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. He definitely has to pick up his numbers really, really, really quickly. But he's really starting to hit that, that point where he might start hitting, you know, 200. 250 hits a season if he's already almost at 200 now so we'll wait and see we'll just play out this postseason see how things go and they lost all right there's that <laughs> um all right that was season five i'm kind of excited to see how this plays out because he looks unreal already all righty so season 10 is upon us besides gold gloves he hasn't really won any uh awards i think he's up to four gold gloves now um he's 30 years old he signed a 10 year 31 million dollar a year deal um this is so he's got one two three four five six seven so it was a 10 so he's at he's got seven years left so obviously it was when he was 27 but you guys can see his stats here things are okay when i said he may hit the 3000 hit club i it was a big exaggeration he hasn't even hit 1500 yet 
Um, I also was like, predicting him to be a little bit better in terms of hitting. I thought like once we started seeing him hit like this mark, you know, the 175, I thought maybe we, we definitely would start to see him, you know, consistently hit that, maybe start pushing towards that 200 hit mark. But unfortunately, it really hasn't happened. He did have a, a good couple of years, the last two years, 276, 287 average. Uh, strikeouts were starting to lower towards the 100 mark. RBIs were starting to go up a little bit. Home run totals is starting to creep into the 20s consistently. Good amount of tri uh, doubles with 38, 31, 34 in this range right here. You know, and I mean, hits wise, he's still, you know, 160 plus. It looks like last year he had a little bit of a down year. But overall, he looks like he's having a decent career, you know, almost 1400 hits, uh, you know, slowly creeping towards that 200 uh, home run mark. And then, you know, 57 stolen bases isn't bad. Overall, not a terrible career so far. Let's take a look at his war. Um, it's I mean, he's at 36. Really, the only year he had a negative war was his first season. Um and that was when I said he did struggle and I didn't expect him to do too poorly after that. As you can see, the hitting stats really aren't improving too much. And I don't really expect them to improve too much more. So what I would do is probably start with his hitting stats a little bit higher. Maybe edit him before you start a franchise just to bring him up a little bit. I'm not saying start him in the 70s, but maybe like the low 60s, uh, maybe the mid 60s. The vision and discipline are high. You know, his fielding stats are unbelievable, but through ten, or almost through 10 seasons, those are his stats. So let's sim it out, see how season 10 plays out. So the for the second time in his career, Bo Bichette's going to be going to the postseason. I'm pretty sure this was the exact same record that they had last time they made the postseason. No awards or anything. And let's take a look and see how he did. He's starting to creep down to a 94. I wonder if anything's playing into that. No. It's just looking like some of the attributes are starting to decrease, which is a little disappointing. He's been in the league for 10 years, but he's only 30. There's no reason why he should start to regress this quickly, especially when that's a good year. 165 hits, 35 doubles, 5 triples, 20 home runs, 77 RBIs, 71 walks. He's had a crazy amount of walks. Like He's been up in the 70s for quite like almost every single season. I know it's not like unreal numbers, but you know those are still respectable low amount of strikeouts 280 at 288 average 370 on base percentage 472 slugging and an ops of 842 let's check his war for the year 6.9 very nice and i mean again there's no reason why he should be having a dip in any of his attributes he just had one of his best years in his entire career and you're punishing him i don't understand that in in franchise i really just don't understand it at all so with the postseason you know upon us they advance let's see how this plays out for them they get eliminated by the rangers who have a stacked team it is nasty but besides that that's season 10 i'll catch you guys if anything big happens in his career other than that i'll probably see you guys at year 15 it's just i usually check in between every single season how things are going and as you guys can see bo bichette's not here so I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, maybe triple A, maybe he's starting to decrease a little bit. No, he's not here either. And then I see he's here at double A when the season's over at 68 overall, which I mean, okay, I understand that. Like he's not one of the higher rated players on the squad, but then I looked at his stats and I don't really understand why he's decreasing so quickly besides the fact that he is an aging player. He still has two years on his contract after this year finishes. But look at his stats for the last few seasons. He hit 300 this year in 130 games with a 363 on base percentage, a 480 slugging percentage, and an 843 OPS. I don't really understand why he's, you know, being like decreasing so quickly. I get he's 34, but he's still having really, really good years. You know, his hit numbers are at 2100. His home runs are, you know, around the 20 mark still. Uh, he's hitting like, what, 130, 140, 150 hits a season. Still producing 60-ish RBIs. Strikeout numbers actually went down this year. Um, obviously played in a few, uh, like some fewer games. But he's still having really, really good years. And look at his war. His war is still very high, you know. I mean, look at, he had a 7.7 .7 year not too long ago. Uh, it was like six years ago, but still like I don't understand why he's decreasing so quickly 
besides the fact that he's an aging player. I just don't I don't get that. He's having good years. You would think he would still be at least holding a 70, maybe even like a mid 70s overall, but he's already down to a 68. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I just wanted to show you guys that just in case he decides to retire or anything crazy happens. So we've approached 2035 and Bo Bichette has finally retired. 53 overall, 38 years old. It's been what, two seasons since his contract has expired with the Blue Jays. And I mean, hey, look at, I mean, he had one appearance in 2033, had one hit in his one at bat and it was a double, how fitting. The man who came up to the league this year and had just extra base, ac extra base hit after extra base hit that he goes out with an extra base hit but as you guys can see his stats for the last couple seasons again really really solid i don't really understand why he decreased so quickly i just i don't get it i really don't i, I really hope they fix it for a future franchise that they fix the regression system the development system something they really do need to do something about it but as you guys can see the totals for Bo bichette in his career in his i mean it's not a bad career 2100 hits almost almost 400 doubles he really got close to that number almost 50 triples 255 home runs almost a thousand rbis uh almost 900 walks uh career average of 265 a 341 on base percentage a 420 slugging hey hey a 761 ops and we'll check his career war of 63 Point one, and that's where we're gonna finish it let's take a look to see if he is uh a hall of famer or not he is not he misses out on it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's Bo bichette career sim i i thought it was kind of exciting to see i was really hoping that the blue jays would have kept the team intact unfortunately they didn't and but oh well we were really focusing on Bo bichette so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the like button down below to see you remember guys a thousand likes to see that new look blue jays that new, like the new era blue jays i'll call them um subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and in the comment section down below let me know which video you would like to see i'll catch you all in the next video peace <laughs>